hey everybody welcome back to our channel so I have already uploaded my May 2018 zero based budget and I did not stuff my cash envelopes so I wanted to bring you back and go ahead and stuff my cash envelopes for the month of May and tell you what those envelopes are going to be so I went to the bank and I got out four hundred and twenty one dollars and sixty three cents and the following categories are going to be cash so of course I'm using my handy dandy envelopes that I got from mom needs a clone she has an Etsy shop and she also has a YouTube channel and I just love her she's also on Instagram as mom needs a clone but one of my uh, subscribers gifted these to me probably about close to a year ago and I've been using them and I really do love them and I keep them in my recollections planner notebook binder um, so here are my sinking funds I have groceries and I break my groceries into four weeks this month for May there'll be five weeks so I'm gonna actually have to have a fifth grocery envelope and look what I found when I was going through to get my envelopes out this says groceries week three you probably can't read that really good because it's already coming off and there's money in here there's 21 two, three. there's $25 in there I don't know how I missed that because I shopped on week three, but I probably sent one of the kids in there to, to get money for me and they didn't get it out. But anyway, I don't know how I got money, but I'm taking this out because I'm going to add it into week one of this week. So that's week three. This is week two. This is week four. This is for my lawn guy. So these are groceries. That's for my lawn guy this is another week of groceries this is for Gracie and then this is my sinking fund this is for Gracie's meds so in here I have ten dollars there's ten dollars in here I'm gonna put another ten dollars in here this is another sinking fund this is for my post office box there's five dollars in here and then this is for my CVS and Walgreens couponing and I don't have any money in here because I have used it for CVS and Walgreens so let me show you what I have again I went to the bank I got four hundred twenty one dollars and sixty three cents out I did have to spend six dollars and fifty cents at school but I'm very proud of myself I did not swipe my card I just pulled money out of the envelope I also pulled out I had forty four dollars in um, restaurant money or eat out money and five dollars for a tip because it was Jackson's birthday so I actually just took him out for his birthday him and myself and Alana and my sister and my nephew we just went out and ate something so I took out forty nine dollars to pay for the meal so what's left is what I have to stuff my envelopes with okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my sinking funds so I have um, sinking fund number one is my post office box there's five dollars that's going in that one and then sinking fund number two is uh, Gracie's meds and ten dollars is going in that one so I'm gonna pull out a five and a ten and then I'm gonna also pull out ten dollars for Walgreens CVS and Walgreens that's what I uh, put for the week so let's see this is my PO box that should give me ten dollars I don't have to pay it again until August and then for Gracie I do need to get her some flea medicine and then my Walgreens money so those are my three sinking funds this one is for the long guy and I do sixty dollars for the long guy because he cuts my grass twice a, twice a month and so I'll do two twenties and two tens so thirty and thirty he cut the grass today but uh, we were not at home when he came by to cut the grass so he'll come by and pick up the money tomorrow and then he'll cut it again about midway of the month so I always keep his 60 in here Gracie gets $29 that's what's left after I spent 31 on her food so that is 25 uh, 25 6 7 8 29 and this change actually goes in her envelope as well which is 38 cent so this goes in her envelope she does have to have a bath and she needs to get her nails trimmed 
if she doesn't get a bath, which is a little bit expensive, and it is starting to warm up some, so we probably could give her a bath outside when it gets warm in the afternoon. Um, she does need her nails trimmed, and it's $15 to get her nails trimmed. So I got Gracie. Um, the next thing I got was grocery money. So I should have four weeks worth of groceries. And I went ahead and took out $263, I think, because I actually had to go buy some produce. So I should have 75 That's 20, 40, that's 60 each. Let me see that, 70, 70, 75, two, three, four. That's 75, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. That's 75 and that leaves me with $21 left over for this week, which is week one groceries. But remember, I found $25 in my old envelope. I don't know how that got there. The Lord put it there. That's exactly how it got there. The, the Holy Spirit is like, what you mean you don't know how? So that gives me $46. But I like to have nice and even numbers. So let's see what I can take away from here so that I have about the same here. So let's see. I have 46. And if I take 5 and five and five let me count and see how much that will give me that still gives me seventy dollars per three weeks so twenty forty five six seven eight nine fifty one two three four five six seven eight nine sixty one that gives me 61. So I'm going to be okay with taking 61 for this week. Next weekend starts a super doubles. It actually starts on Sunday. So I will be shopping out of envelope number two during super doubles. $70 is a nice amount for super doubles. It's only a three day blitz. So we'll see what we're able to get. So that's grocery week one. I actually need to put that in my wallet. This is uh, $70 for week two. And I may have to add in an extra week of groceries. This is $70. This is week three. And then I have $70 for week four. So week five, because there's a fifth week in uh, May, I do not have any funds set aside for just yet. So when I get kids money, I'm going to try to make up enough for groceries for the fifth week of the month. But if we don't, we still have plenty in the pantry. The only difference is I am trying to do way more produce. I'm kind of I'm doing a fast, and so I'm trying to do a little bit more produce here. So it does take a little bit more as far as groceries are concerned. So I've got week four, three, and weeks two. I'm gonna take out week one because tomorrow's grocery day, and I'm gonna stick that in my regular wallet behind my groceries tab. So that tab says groceries. I just made those using a laminator and some index cards and some post-it flags. So I've stuffed it in there. I have blow money, which there's none. Gifts for my daughter, I've already allocated for that. Miscellaneous and eating out. I will have to take out eating out money for graduation night. So I'm leaving that tab in. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this is going into my wa my purse and then I'm going to just put in back into my recollections planner all of the envelopes that I have left. So I've got Grace, Long Eye, Groceries, that was Grocery 1, which I've already pulled out so I'm going to stick that back there. That is Gracie. Lawn care, that's a sinking fund, and that's a sinking fund. All right, so everything is going right back into my recollections planner, and then this will go into the safe. So I just stick everything in there, and I just pull it out as I need it. The only problem I have sometimes is I forget to pull the money out when I'm going somewhere, and I think that's kind of just a bad habit that I'm trying to get out of. 
just an update on my debt I did go ahead and make my loan payment so I'm at seven thousand four hundred and twenty five dollars I do plan to make another three hundred and fifty dollar payment this month and that will take me just over seventy one hundred if I can get below that I will do my very best but I am not sure if I will or not but I will try my best actually I'm gonna go to CVS tomorrow so I'm gonna pull out the ten dollars but I don't think I'm gonna have to spend any because I have ECBs and I also have um, coupons so there it is this is what is going into the safe everything for the month is there and I did make an allocation on my spreadsheet for all of the funds that I took out so I'm gonna put this in my wallet for CVS and Walgreens and there it is so two things all my envelopes are stuffed thank you so much for stopping by our channel if you like this video be sure and give it a thumbs up it just says hey we like your video if you're new to our channel hit the red subscribe button we love to keep you as a part of our youtube community also hit the little bell that way you never miss an upload from us thank you so much for stopping by our channel until the next time we stuff our cash envelopes bye now